Hello everyone, welcome back again, guys. Another unboxing day. This is not brand new handheld, which one we've got on the market. It was quite a while already, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I was always want this kind of handheld on my collection. And because I saw on Unburnic uh, AliExpress store was very good price. It cost me about 45 pounds with shipment. Then I decided to buy it as I really like it. What is that? You know, because you read description, but I want to see what's going on, how it's working, and just testing out how this handheld are good or bad, in my opinion. I said this few times, guys, before. I said not just the newest one for me is the most important. Sometimes it's something which is really nice maybe not brand new but still when you have a good price it's worth to buy it you don't need to buy every time something new as we know some chipset are very often just copying and put on another devices okay come on we've got him unburnic model rg353ps okay we've got 64 gigabytes card let me take this off. Oh, I do like it. I remember when I bought first one really similar, looks like that. Uh, it was um, Pocket Go S30. I get somewhere, I couldn't find it to, oh, to just show one by one. What we've got, screen protector. Manual, of course, and the wipes. That's just standard now, which we've got almost in every single console. Let me take this on the side. I will plug this in and we will see what this kind of performance. But at this moment, first about build quality. Looks like something comfortable. D-pad, well, it's okay. Everything is quite quiet, which is good, because it's not gonna annoy us after long gameplay. We've got some rubber behind. I do like the way how it looks like. I really like this one. What we've got on the top, OTG, HD, we can plug into TV. Then we've got DC, volume, reset button, triggers, as I said, it's quiet triggers. It's not clicky ones. D-pad function button is here. Then we've got power on here, start select, and on the bottom we've got slot for the cards. Oh, I didn't even know I've got, okay, this is the system card, 16 gigabytes. Ah, it's two different one. That was the time when they gave us two cards. Now everything is just on one card from unburning devices. Let me plug this in. We can use the earphones or headphones here. Actually, I was digging and I found that what I'm talking about. Pocket Go S30. Let me just show you that console. This is the console, my first handheld apart PSP, Chinese handheld. That's what I was really interesting for me and I do like it until now. Of course, performance is not like we have in that time, but the looks it's very nice, comfortable, quite good quality. I never was complain about quality of that device. It's quite nice. This is how it looks, this one. It's a little bit bigger than that one, as you see. It's less bezels here, but this is much more powerful. And now we're gonna turn on this device. Okay. Okay, what we've got here, press start. Ah, Unburnic Linux version 2023 September. That's not so old, about one year. But of course, we've got plenty of custom firmware, which one we can put here. Let me see what they've got. Vertical 300 games, MAME 22, final burn. Okay. 670. Oh, 
Oh, we've got some ports. Ah, we haven't got ports, okay. Settings, Mega Drive, Game Gear, Dreamcast, f just four games. Not much. Neo Geo. Oh, PS1, 64 games. That's quite big amount for PS1 games, which is very nice. And eight PSP games, just the standard one. GTA, Tekken. And we haven't got God of War on that card. This is 64 gigabytes, as I said. You know, of course, you can buy different newer consoles at this moment, but if you like this controller style console, why not? Okay, this is full. Oh, we've got speakers here, as you see. No problem at all with Hadoukens. What about that side? Should be same. Very easy. It's quite comfortable D-pad. And this is the truth. Some of the consoles, like that one, have better D-pads than many newer ones later on. Okay? I'm playing very bad, but I'm talking now to you guys. This is quite responsive. I'm feeling okay with that. Just want to see how it looks like. Screen itself is good quality, as you see. Also is standard on this time. Oops. Ah, again. How many times? Joystick working, but I prefer D pads to the games like that. Should I try once again? Never give up, never give up. Ah! Almost I'm dead. Nice music, come on. Ah, almost. 59 PC Engine games. Let me go for that one. We will see what is that. I never seen that game before. Oh, something like R-Type. Ah, not bad at all. 
Oh, <laughs> this means I have to change the game for something different, of course. But this is quite nice. I'm telling you, this is all device and I still have very good opinion about that device. It's very rare at this moment. You cannot almost buy it anywhere. That's why I'm keeping that one. I'm not selling as it's just beginning of my journey of handhelds. That was that one. That's why I just don't want to sell it at all. Let me see some. Oi! Always problem, where the button? Oh, that's... Oh, I choose the right one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this game is working absolutely smooth, no problem at all. Okay, let me go again to something different. Nintendo Game Boy Color, Advance, maybe some advanced games. guys the thing is buy something oh this must be very loud oh my speakers are so loud on some systems as you hear about decision if you want to buy something newer or maybe like one year old but in good price is everything it depends what you're expecting and what you want to play Because this chip says it's good enough to play even many PSP games without any single problems. Okay, which one I have to use? Oh, it's that one. screen itself is clear as you see looks very nice that's what I'm saying it's not every time you need to buy something brand new and pay much more sometimes it's better to wait a little bit elephant on the carpet that's miracle <laughs>
Whoa! Sega Mega Drive and Street of Rage. We will see how the volume is. As I say, different emulators have different sounds, level. I should be fine. Or maybe. Oh yes, come on guys, come on! As I said, this is a very smooth experience. Let me pick up someone. Yeah. Very smooth gameplay. Go that way. Taxi. Hey, taxi. Wow. Ooh, move it, move it. Okay. Oh. The Dreamcast will be perfect on that device. Well, we've got Neo Geo Pocket PlayStation 1. Let me see some PlayStation 1. You can still win! Come on! From zero to hero, come on! GTA, we gonna go for settings times two resolution and I've got frames keeping times one and I want to see how it's working on the most demanding place which is airport we need to remember this is 
just stock firmware which one came with this device and it's from last year 30 fps 30 fps don't wanna go down that is very good and stable gameplay That's quite a surprise for me, and I'm not gonna lie. It's a very good device, even stock firmware. Let me go for different place. Hmm, guys, I'm really impressed of that once. I didn't know it's gonna be powerful like that. That will be something interesting. I've got Tekken 6 without any frame skip. I want to see if this will gonna work. Okay, just beginning and that's what I'm saying you've got device with very strong chipset and Tekken 6 is working without any problem 60 FPS that's why sometimes we need to think guys if you really want to buy something newer with the weaker chipsets and with the same price or you're gonna buy something like that we're just playing even Tekken 6 or GTA, a very good frame rate. Look at this, 60 FPS, no problems at all. Just remember, 45 pounds for that. Nothing been modified, just stock. And I'm testing out about 30, no, at this moment 40 minutes. And this device is completely cold. That's it from me guys, I'm pretty surprised about the performance, I know a chipset RK3566 is very popular, but every time it also depends on the, uh, I would say, the system. This is stock firmware and is working pretty well as you saw, 60 FPS Tekken 6, which is quite demanding, no frame skip and GTA times 2 resolution. It's going 30 FPS permanently without any problems. Sometimes it's worth to come back in time, wait for some promotion and buy something which is few months on the market. This one, I think so, is about a year, but still they using in many uh, handhelds weaker chipset than that one. And that handhelds, it cost exactly like this one. Decision is up to you. If you want to buy something on the promotion with really good chipset or you just want to buy every time newer and newer and newer devices. I was testing out about 45 minutes. No, it's about an hour now. Completely cold device on full brightness and screen is a little bit warm, which very often on the new devices, those screens and the devices itself are really warm. That's it for me. See you guys in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this new, but not new handheld. <laughs> See you guys.